Ashwin from Patanagar and Mamla, Madhya Pradesh. A very warm welcome to the artists present here today. We also welcome our esteemed chief guest, Shri Mopi Jain, founder president, Sanskriti Pradeshna. Gold art, like other arts, is modern, sublime, and truthful. It is a glowing form of cultural expression of home sensibility. The Gons are artists of revived, through their racial memories, the original universe and innovate within their visual imagination. The ancestral tales and songs asserting their memory permeates art. In Gond art, sacred rituals are reenacted through memorial conventions. The immemorial oral storytelling gets converted into visual forms. I now request Sri Jain to inaugurate the exhibition by lighting the lamp. Like Jangar used to have 
has painted lots of icons. Lots of, and for the first time in Jangal's painting, the Pardhan and Gom were seeing the face of their gods and goddesses. Till then, they were only words. And by only, I am not denigrating the word. This is how, even from the Vedic times, this sculpture had come. So, the, this was like a reenactment of all that. And they were shifted, most of those painters have now shifted to Bhopal or other cities. And now they have become very important painters of India. And they have been recognized all over. Now, most of these paintings, you will find that there are lots of narratives embedded in those stories. <clears throat> then there are a number of transformations that you could find in most of the tree gets transformed into an animal, an animal gets transformed into a bird and all. So there are lots of narratives. Of course, you will have to know all those narratives to see them there. But in themselves also, they are full of colors and forms, etc. You can connect to them. Now, one of these stories that's there, and they're full of humor also. If you know the narratives, you would know that they're full of humor. It's paintings, they're stories, they make fun of themselves and of course of us. Uh, there's one story in them, and you will find in two, three paintings. So there is a bird called Pity. This bird is always painted, she's lying down like this with her paws up. And the story is that when she lays eggs, after that, because she's all the time looking at the clouds, and the clouds are different shapes, so she starts feeling that the shapes in the clouds actually are animals or birds. And any moment they can fall on her eggs, so she lies down like this, so that if anything falls from the sky, she'll be able to hold that. Uh, of course, uh, Titi is a very good metaphor for modern human beings also. Thank you. I'll speak for a few moments. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, everyone, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this exhibition. Uh, once you've had a quick look, please join us for brunch in the multi-purpose hall on the ground floor. Thank you. Friends, uh, I'm very, I'm not used to speaking in public in this I just, I'm not going to talk to you, tell stories, and, uh, but, you know, I'm not. But I think uh, it's a very special exhibition, I would say. Because, you know, I'm in Australia, uh, about the period, you know, after that. Uh, so I found it out that when I went for the first time, there were two collectors in, uh, in Australia who were buying the Bajanara. And they had a, a, one of them was the Abyssin Museum, which was very well known. And at that time, uh, the Bajanara uh, was available for a feasible price. You know, so some big, very big industries uh, used to tease him. What are you buying in the Kachira? And now I'm told, Is almost 50 to 100 percent more costly than the other one. And there are, I mean, there are some good collections. Like, for example, if you have Sham Bhar, that one, which is a good value. So, therefore, I personally feel that it uh, is not a question of, uh, of course, uh, uh, then it's all about the
that is how they react. They don't think like, like, like idea, I don't know, idea, or some kind of philosophy they are trying to say. They speak to you like they are here to speak to you, you shouldn't pass me from this.